Hi, how you doing? I'm Ronnell from Children's Healthcare of Atlanta with Strong for Life, and I have Monica here, a dietitian, also from Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, Strong for Life. Now, Monica, I believe you're going to share with us today about uh, the first going over the first healthy habit, which is to drink more water and limit sugary beverages. Yes, and I put together a few challenges for you to see how much you know about sugary drinks. Are you up for it? I believe so, yes. Let's do this. So we have some sugary drinks here. Uh -huh. What I want you to do is to put them in order. Okay. The drink with the least amount of sugar on this end, uh -huh. all the way to the most sugar over here. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let me try this. I definitely think the water should go there. Of course, I would believe no sugar in water. Um, I'm gonna take this one, place that there. I believe I'm gonna move this here. Okay, let's scoot, scoot, and there. Awesome. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. All right, you're close, and I can help you. All right. So you got water close. right. It's got no sugar, and we need it so mm. our brains and bodies work their Come best. On. And I'm just going to move a couple things around. Okay. So after water comes sports drinks. Sports drinks have nine teaspoons of sugar. Wow. It's a lot. Yeah, Most that is. Most of the time when we're active, water is plenty. Okay. So next we have sweet tea with 14 teaspoons of sugar. 14? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a lot. Okay. So next we have a tie. Lemon, uh -huh. lime, and cola have 16 teaspoons of sugar, so they're about the same. They're not any different. Wow. Um, and what a lot of people don't realize is that 100% juice has the same amount of sugar as soda. What? Wow. I mean, but I thought 100% juice meant that it was, you know, 100% good for you, so to speak. Yeah, it sounds like it's natural, so yeah. it's a smarter choice. But nature never meant for us to drink the sugar out of eight apples and throw mm. the rest of it away, which is kind of what you're doing when you drink juice. That makes sense. That makes total sense. So, and then last, we have lemonade and fruit punch, which have 18 teaspoons of sugar. And you want to see what that looks like? 18, yes, I need to see what that looks like. You have some. That is 18 teaspoons of sugar. Wow, that's a lot of sugar. Now, I see you have some cookies over there. Uh, are they for me? They are actually for our next challenge. Ooh, okay, okay. So, do you remember how much sugar was in a 20 ounce soda? Um, yes, I think, I believe it was 16, 16 teaspoons. Yes. Okay. And cookies have sugar too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah All right. Sugar too, yes. So, how many cookies do you think you need to eat to get the same sugar as one 20 ounce soda? Okay, so, 20 ounce soda, how many cookies? I'm going to make the guess of one, two, three, four, five. More. More? Okay. More. okay. Um, six, seven, eight. Looks about, yep, that looks all right. Eight. More. More. Oh my goodness. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. More. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try this. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, eight, okay, 18. I mean, there's no more cookies left. There has to be eight. It's 18 cookies. So a 20 ounce soda gives you the same sugar as 18 chocolate chip cookies. Wow, that's a lot of sugar. How would you feel if you ate 18 cookies? Would you be able to play your best basketball or ride your bike as fast as you can? No, 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 I'd feel sick. What I want you to do is to think about sugary drinks like you think about cookies. They're a treat and we can enjoy them sometimes, but not every day. When we're thirsty, water or plain milk is a better choice. Okay, that makes sense. Now I feel like I know why it's important to drink water and limit sugary drinks. Now you too can be strong for life and practice the healthy habits. <laughs>